Uh, hi. Um, hi. You guys are on a... I'm going to put you down on a table. Um, I put this camera... This is my camcorder. Uh, I put it on a tripod. And so, there you go. Um, I don't normally do these videos, but I made a pretty good, um, hi, um, I did pretty good at yard sales today. I, um, took about $60 out of the bank, out of my bank account, and for the first time in it, in since last summer, since the end of last summer, I went out and did yard sales. I usually do Goodwill, um, but this time I was in the mood to uh, just go out there and see what was out there and make a killing. Um, and this was strictly business. Of course I bought some things for our, myself personally. Uh, Harry and I did, but it was like two things. Uh, the rest of it I'm going to resell either on Amazon or on eBay. Uh, hopefully I'll make about $300 profit at least um, with my $60 or about that that I spent, uh, which is pretty damn good um, considering. Um, so yeah, I got some work ahead of myself. Um, but anyway, um, at this one yard sale, um, for $18, I'll, I'm staring at it. it, it it's in a different area of the living room as the other stuff. The other stuff is behind me, so um, I'm kind of nervous because Harry's gone and I'm afraid he's kind of like storming into the room or something, or I'm going to have like a neighbor come in. But anyway, it's a uh, HP. It's, it doesn't have the monitor or anything. It's just like the mouse and the tower. Um, but yeah, we got this comp. Is well, it well, it was thirty dollars, and he talked him down to eighteen. This very socially awkward like kid. Uh, he was like nineteen years old. Um, anybody younger than me, I'm thirty one. Anybody younger than me, I call a kid. And Harry laughs at me because he's like, it's not that long ago you were eighteen, Jody. Um, but anyway, um, right after we. I bought some video games from this kid and some porn. Um, the porn was cheap enough. I threw everything together and he said he was willing to part with it for $22. Um, so I just kind of threw I was like, why do you have porn in with these video games? And he goes, that's not mine. Um, every, or everybody combined everything and after we left, Harry and I went in this minivan that we're borrowing from this car, car dealership. It's a long story. Um, I said, do you think it's the, the kid's porn? Do you think it's li he's lying? And uh, Harry laughed and said, it's his. He's just lying, you know. It was very funny. Um, but yeah, uh, the thing is, we needed a computer, um, again, long story, um, we got this computer, uh, he has a switch box with, uh, a bunch of computers on it, and, um, he thought that it would be a good idea. We have a wireless Skype phone, a cordless phone. And the problem is, I can't um, plug it into the laptop that I'm using because it basically overrule it overrides the sound that the AC turned on. Did you see that? I totally flinched. Um, anyway, I can't plug in my headphones and listen to YouTube or whatever with this cordless phone plugged in. The audio goes through the cordless phone. So I can't use the cordless phone. Um, I can't turn it in. Uh, I can't, you know, uh, just have it plugged in all the time just in case we get a phone call. And so this is, this 
18 dollar little uh, HP computer has Windows XP on it. It's it's fairly old, but it's okay. Um, that will be our Skype computer. Um, Skype will be. It'll hopefully work on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, and right after we were loading it in, this older woman she wanted to buy it, and she was saying, "Us, we bought the computer." She thought. She said, dang it, um, uh, I have a, a night, I, I bought a gateway computer in 1998 and I wanted to upgrade my computer. And so yeah, she was a little ticked, uh, but it was pretty satisfying, um, knowing that, pardon me when I like bend over in front of everybody. This is what I got these two cameras um, yesterday at Goodwill. Uh, one thing I did was I looked up a few things on that I saw at Goodwill on eBay, and I one was Healy shoes, and I know those were popular a few years ago, and I didn't know if they were still popular. And I looked them up in the community li listings; they still sell um, pretty regularly, new for forty bucks. So. I thought if I sell them, if I buy them for six, I can sell them for, you know, for thirty or whatever. But anyway, I bought these for two dollars, which is worth the risk. This one's a one step close up Polaroid. Polaroid cameras sell pretty regularly. That's a this has a couple minor scratches. Um, I actually have one that I'm, I'm trying to sell on eBay in there that has two scratches on it, or two, like, like, um, hairline, like, fractures, I guess you could call it. Um, so that's kind of annoying. But yeah, um, this one's going to sell pretty good. And then this one I'm going to kind of be stuck with, to be honest with you. This one's the one touch, and it's not close up. I don't even need to open that. These were $1.99 a piece. And then something else that I bought. This was $3. Thanks. Um, the box like opened. This is um, like never been used. I'm going to sell it for, I think I'm going to put it up for $35 um, free shipping or best offer. Um, this was $3. This was $2.99. It's a pinnacle. It looks about 90s. Like, if you look on the side of this, I'm such a. I'm so weird. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, look at this. Isn't this like a cool 90s look? Um, it's so dark in here. Hold on. <coughs> which I don't like doing. I don't like wasting electricity. Um, wow, it's significantly brighter in here. But anyway, isn't this cool? It's like a cool, like, an early 90s-ish uh, chemical putting ramp. It's for kids. Um, and it has the balls with it. Looks like it's never been used. It has this like round thing that you, it's like a plug thing that you like unplug it. Um, so yeah, that's going to be pretty good. The only thing that I saw, um, hold on here. Um, I have to show you these shirts. And I, I have such ADD right now. Um, the only uh, the only listing I saw of that golf thing was ninety nine ninety nine. So it was like ten dollars plus shipping, and it was on some off auction site. And so yeah, I think thirty five or best offer, and then I can wait, you know, for someone to give me an offer. Um, and who knows how old that other one was? It was the only one that I saw. But anyway, one of the first yard sales I saw. Um, I really needed shirts because I bought all these um, pajama bottom pants 
or pajama, I called them pajama bottoms for some reason, but put pajama pants, but pajama pants I bought recently, um, and I'm very fixed, like, with these Bartman pants, which I'm still wearing, I'm such a bum, but anyway, I like wear this shirt with these pants, and so I needed new shirts, um, for my other pants, but anyway, I bought these shirts, these are like 2XL, which I like them baggy, cause you know my boobs and my whatever's, you know, I have to like have things to be comfortable, you know, don't judge. But this is a really cool shirt, I bought these shirts for like 50 cents. Like that's so weird that my head's cut off, I'm looking in the screen. But anyway, these are so cool, this one, um, these are all like 2X, it says, not now, I'm working, and it's a Grim Reaper, he's on his cell phone. That is so cool. I mean, this is, these shirts are, are, uh, this one's a Halloween Michael Myers shirt, and it says, like, you can't kill the boogeyman on the other side. These are shirts that, um, you know, I, I paid 50 cents for them. And they're shirts that I really like. I mean, this is one of the highlights of my day today. I'm going to have to put them in the wash. I need to do laundry anyway. And this one's just like a skull. This one's skull. It says Marvel on the tag. But it says it has a skull. So I don't know what that's about. It's not like the Punisher, Punisher, the Punisher skull either, you know. These are like cargo shorts. Um, black cargo shorts. Um, they say Rex W R E X Authentic Denim Company on them. Harry has shorts like that. Um, already that they're red. Um, I bought them for him at Walmart for like three bucks or something. Um, so that's cool. He has another pair of shorts like that now. This is. Pointing chin, which I think is Walmart, like you get these at Walmart. But this one's so nice. They have a little, it has a pocket. But those, these are so comfortable looking. I'm going to um, enjoy wearing those around the house. So yeah, I spent two fifty on those, and um, I bought these. I have to show you guys these. I bought them for. Um, I bought these audio books for five bucks. Uh, this person looked like, you know, this person that had these audio books looked like they, they have like pyramid scheme ones and stuff that I didn't buy, but if you buy like all these, these are sealed. And I bought all of these for, um, you know, five dollars but this is the joy of meditating this one's sealed um the housewife the hound of the baskervilles this one's sealed as well this one's a little open but it doesn't look like it um uh, like the bottom feels like it's it's not like they put the wrapping back on it you know what i mean this one's breakfast at tiffany's um so that's cool um, audio books really, if you can get them cheap enough, um, they're worth the risk, uh, but you have to get them really dirt cheap like I did. Um, this is Hiding from Love, um, Avoiding Intimacy. This is so funny to me. And it's so, it's, a uh, audio, it's a cassette tapes, it's self-help. Uh, this person was having a rocky marriage apparently in the 80s because... Uh, I bought a couple, three audio book like these binders, I guess you could call them, or these cases. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just sell them in a lot. I honestly bought them for a kick, like, uh, I bought them cheap enough and they were just so funny. This one, the picture is just, it makes me laugh. Um, but yeah, this looks like a, a very cheap printout. I'm not talking about this one, I'm talking about the one over here that I'm looking at. Um, anyway, it says, Part 1, When You Were a Lone Ranger. Part 2, Why We Avoid Relationships. 
Part 3, Six Stages of Intimacy Breakdown. Part 4, All the Ways We Avoid Getting Close. Part 5, Pain in Your Relationships. Part 6, Repairing Trust. Uh, Cloud, Townsend, Communications, and then a phone number. And it's like a very plain um, audio. And they're all there. Um, I looked when I was buying them. And then see, this is from... Um, I don't see the, um, because I swear it's in 1986 someplace on here. Um, 1988. This is from 1988. And I'm probably going to sell this with the other one that I showed you. Because this is Light His Fire, a program designed to help improve your relationship a loving, rewarding, and exciting life is possible. You deserve it. Um, bring back that loving feeling. So apparently someone was having problems in their marriage at one point. But look at this. Doesn't this like make you laugh? Like, Doesn't this look like it's from 1988? Like, look. I mean, no offense to her. I mean, that, that's the, that was the style at the time. But doesn't this kind of like make you laugh that it's blank on the other side um but yeah i got all these for five dollars for all of them and this is spiritual warfare or biblically a biblical balanced view well, i don't really like buying religious stuff but they're all together for five dollars so that's pretty cool um yeah it doesn't say anything on it except that um this is open the door to a golden opportunity Start of Something Big, a hands-on training program that teaches network and marketing business builders how to achieve more and less time. Well, maybe I should um, listen to these. See, it's a series of tapes. Um, but yeah, it's some, uh, like, you know, build a business in five easy steps type of thing. This is weight control, which is obviously like a... The Neural Physiology of Weight Control by Cybervision with an S. Uh, now you can learn weight with, uh, how to lose weight without starving. Um, so yeah, someone was trying to fight his fire and, uh, you know, whatever the other thing is, exercise. Um, at this one yard sale I bought this um, Michael Jordan tape for 25 cents. I have another Michael Jordan tape that's basically not worth that much without this one. This was made in 1991. Um, it was a Sports Illustrated video. Um, you know, one of those you get the subscription, you get that for free. Um, you know, they did those at one point. I still haven't gotten into uh, one of the significant things that I'm going to make a lot of money on. Well, not a lot, but you know, enough. Enough to get by where I don't like wither away and starve. This one, um, I got these for 25 cents a piece. This is a Kathy mug uh, health food. And it's like, you know, a Sunday. It says Papel. 1995. So yeah, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cool. I like that. I bought this other one for 25 cents. It has a little. Um, it looks like it's more of a decorative mug. Um, I know these clay mugs sell. I've seen them in other people's videos. But yeah, this is really cool. It's like some kind of clay mug, and it has this. This is wood. And this goes together, see? Um, it sits on here. Yeah. So I bought that for a quarter. I got this Chair of Angel um, figure at this one sale that I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Um, I got it for Jennifer um, because I was getting everything for twelve dollars. 
uh, this person volunteers a lot, uh, does a lot of charity work, and uh, people give her gifts. And so she was basically like, if you want it, take it, you know. Uh, she was honestly had so much stuff, she uh, wanted to get rid of them. But anyway, these are some cool Heelys. They have the wheels for them. I bought them for what? $4.99? I bought these at Goodwill. I, I went back for them. They were boy ones, but they were gone by the time I went back. Um, and this is cool. Uh, like, look at this. This is... I bought this for $3.99. And it looks like it's a picture. Which is kind of interesting. Because, see, it has... Coke. I bought this today. I bought this today when I was going back for the shoes. But see, Black Father's Pizza. I haven't looked it up yet. But yeah, it has like no chips or anything. It's great. But yeah, that's what Godfather's Pizza used to look like. Is that neat? I love that stuff. Like I genuinely enjoy that. I genuinely enjoy. Um. That. Anyway, these are tapes. This is the, uh, I can show you this, there's no nudity. But I bought these, this two porn, these two porns. Um, it's an interactive DVD. And I tried to, like, watch it. I'm, I'm not genuinely a porn person, but I try to watch it just for the cheesiness of the interactive porn. I think it just said it was interactive, like the, the menu. I don't think it was interactive. This, I looked at all these. Um, I bought these for $22. Um, this, I'll put these on Amazon Madden 2005 for the DS. Um, I honestly don't say I'm in real life like this as much. For some reason this just, I guess I'm nervous. I don't even know. But anyway. Um, need for speed, <laughs> need for speed, uh, Hot Pursuit 2 for GameCube. I'm running out of room here. Godzilla Save the Earth for PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2. Uh, Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. I've heard this is an okay game. Too bad I don't have a PlayStation 2 to play it on. Um, you know what's funny? At that yard sale with this kid there, um, the one that we bought the HP um, Tower and, and these games and stuff, uh, there was an Atari there, which is kind of interesting. I don't see that, those that often anymore. Um, this was... Nightshade for the PlayStation 2. Shinobi for the PlayStation 2. These are mostly PlayStation 2. Sorry. Ico, which he said this is a very good deal that I'm getting on this game because it's rare to get these for the PlayStation 2. But Ico, it looks like a, it's a puzzle role playing game. It's interesting. Uh, say in the comments if you like that game. I don't know. Um, PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits. Tony Hawk's Underground. And this is a rental. This is Game Crazy. Um, game Crazy doesn't even exist in this area anymore. Um, they paid $4.49 for this. This is um, PlayStation 3. Uh, Major League Baseball 2K7. Um, I'm going to try to list these on, um, and this is the the uh, Nintendo DS. Uh, I'm going to try to list those on Amazon. I bought all of those plus the four uh, for $22, which I think is pretty good uh, considering. And then also, and that twenty-two dollars I bought. It doesn't even have a label on it. Um, the person had to write the 
bright on here. See? Look how ghetto that looks. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. This is a... This person wrote their name on the back. Which I should be showing you guys, but I am anyway. Um, I have no way to test this, but a rumble pack for the Nintendo 64. And this game, um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That's a cool one. I think it's fascinating. Um, but yeah, I think I did a pretty good job on that. And for $12, at the one that I, the person was, um, she, you know, $12 held, she was thrilled, you know. I was honest with her. I, uh, told her that I do this for a living. And she, w she was understandable. I told her, you know, my best friend, he's disabled. And I, this is a great gig, you know, for our situation. And she completely understood. And, uh, this, I'm going to put these on Amazon. These are a little bit beat up, but that's okay. I, uh, I bought these all for $12. These, really cool harm hallmark hallmark is really if you can get this cheap enough I looked in in them you know this is actually what's in them these snowman ornaments so I had to get these up fairly soon and then this is a kit you know see and save she says you know she buys these kits all the time so this is this kit um these are some really cool like Christmas ornaments in a set. If I can't put these on Amazon, maybe I'll put them in lots on eBay. Again, if you're interested, you can always tell me if you're interested. These are these um, frames. They're like photo frames that you knit or whatever. As a kit. If you can get these chip kits, kits for I'm so inappropriate today. I was this close to saying tits. Like, a sec did you hear that? I almost said tits. I really didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. But this one, it's a little bit open, but it looks like it has everything. It's uh, some kind of Halloween one. She was actually honestly thrilled that I was taking all of these. And I said, you know, I've heard that these go good on eBay. And she was okay with that, you know. People are cool. You just have to give them a little bit of faith, you know. This one is Christmas. I might put these all together. Uh, this one is a. It's an apron. You put it on an apron or whatever, whatever you want. And uh, it's. I'm blanking. It's Tweety Bird. I'm so sorry. It's Tweety Bird and a wreath. It's a Christmas thing. And I got about three or four of these catchers. These dream catchers. Um, and I got these all for 12 bucks. Uh, Mary Maxim exclusive needlework and crafts. This is another one. Obviously because I'm fucking showing you. Um, this is this one I really loved. This one I genuinely loved. Um, the detail work is so cool. These are the Hallmark Christmas ornaments. I'm going to probably put these on Amazon. Um, But yeah, this is, my favorite one is the cookies. The one with the cookies. These are Christmas ornaments. But he has like cookies in the snow. They're sunk in a little bit. That's so cute. And uh, this one, the ornaments are a little bit sunk in. But yeah, I genuinely love those. And I got them for so cheap. Um, 
And see, here's a couple more of these dream catchers. So I'm going to put those together. A Crayola Christmas ornament in the box. That box isn't damaged at all. Um, I'm going to put these together in a lot. I have no clue how much these are going to go for. They look a bit vintage. But these are uh, Garfield brown bags and Bugs Bunny. There's about three kinds. And there are some missing. But I think that they're worth it if someone bought them. You know, it'd be worth it to that person. And it'd be worth it to me, honestly. Um, here's another Hallmark. It says on the bottom how much they're worth in the store. Or around, no, it's on the side. It says Canada, $27.95. USA 1895. Can you imagine paying almost 20 bucks for one ornament? People are cray, seriously. But yeah, this one's really cool. This is Skylar A. Wolfscar Snowtop Lodge. Here's another one. I cleaned up as far as, um, I'll walk ornaments today. And then here's one that's really loose. This is just the paper. I'm just it's it's less messier that way. But yeah. This is some kind of Christmas ornaments. It's Mary Maxim. So hopefully that's a really good brand to get. Because I bought a bunch of it today, so I'm gonna have to do some research later. And two things that I got. This is the last yard sale. There was so many signs today that led to nowhere. Like what's up with that? But anyway, I bought these for three dollars a piece. This, um, these are going to go up on Amazon. These are Blu-rays, which is very interesting because you now people are selling Blu-rays at yard sales now. These are three dollars a piece. I looked in them before I bought them. Uh, the discs are in here, but this is a cool Watchmen like. 3D, like it pops out at your holographic one. This one's uh, the first Transformers, Michael Bay one, uh, ha ha uh, uh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Deadly Shall Shadows Part 1. It's a fairly new movie, it's not like horribly old. But yeah, I spent $3 on these a piece. I'm gonna put these on Amazon. ASAP. Hopefully those are quick sellers, you know. I'm always, I'm always wanting them to sell quick. You know, I don't want to look like a hoarder. I totally do look like a hoarder, but I don't want to like look even more like a hoarder. But anyway, I bought this for ten dollars at, at Goodwill today when we were there. You know, I wanted to buy the CDs real quick. And they actually had some Nike I put back because they were asking for like 20 bucks and that was a little bit more than what I wanted to spend. But anyway, this sealed in the box for $10. This is a waterbed mattress and Harry said these are like $100. Um, and he wants a waterbed one day. So he said, you know, if we don't sell it, I'll use it one day. He's like the one person in the whole world that still likes waterbeds. He thinks they're very comfortable. But yeah, I went back and got this. This is king size. And so, you know, if they don't have a listing on Amazon, I'll list it on eBay. And I think that's it. I'm looking around. I think that's it as far as what I have, what I bought today. Uh, you know. Hi. This is what my face looks like. Um, oh, and Harry, uh, he was like, look at her. Because there was this woman walking, like, going into a car or something, and she was wearing a bikini. 
Which, what's up with women, like, they can casually walk around in a bikini. I'm not saying that she didn't wear it well. I'm just saying, like, how can you be confident enough to do that? But anyway, um, she always, like, her face wasn't that good, but her body was good or something. And I said, oh, butterface. But, you know, like, he had no idea. Hi. He had no idea. It was hilarious. He cracks me up. But anyway, what's your favorite thing that I bought, you know? Um, do you think I did a good job? Um, the games, the PlayStation 2 games, I'm kind of nervous about. Uh, I think I could have... It's just the, the thing. If it's not, like, a classic console, like the NES or something, I'm kind of nervous about buying games that are obsolete. Um... I definitely don't want to buy PC games because that's a little tricky. Um, unless it's like a DOS game, like a really old and is a collector's item. Uh, that's in very good condition and I can get it for like five bucks or something. I'm really nervous about buying PC games. But anyway, um, that's the kind of thing, you know, I'm just going to have to look it up and see. Uh, the audio books are kind of like, I thought they were cool at the time, but now I'm thinking, how the hell am I going to get rid of these, you know. Um, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, the craft stuff. I'm I'm now getting into the craft stuff, which is interesting. That's really cool. Um, and I don't have a Blu-ray player, and I now own three uh, Blu-ray movies. And there was this little girl that was actually at a yard sale. It was like the first yard sale I was at. Sorry if I'm a little bit too close to you guys. Uh, she was like, oh, can I have this movie? And the mom was like, we don't have a VCR. And she was carrying it around anyway. And she called this headband a chia. She was the cutest thing. And, um, I, it just made me think about when I was a kid going with my grandma to yard sales. My grandma would buy material, patterns, puzzles, uh, the occasional, uh, I've seen on TV, little gadget thing, but not that many, uh, things that were, you know, it was either romance novels, puzzles, or material. That's like the three things. And then, you know, at a yard sale, you're, um, as a kid, you're more inclined to ask for a toy or something like that because it's a lot cheaper. Um. And so I know my grandma was more freely willing to buy me things at yard sale. And so that's one of the reasons why I loved going to yard sales as a kid. It's just all f um, full circle. It was a full circle moment. Um, but yeah, uh, tell me in the comments what your favorite thing was. And, um, that's it. Okay, bye.